Guys, what's going on? It is Dylan here with another DJI Spark tutorial video. And today, this is one for all of you guys brand new to uh, drones in general, um, especially the DJI Spark specifically. But if you have a DJI Phantom, uh, Phantom 2, Phantom 3, Phantom 4, Phantom 4 Pro, DJI Mavic Pro, DJI Mavic Air, uh, DJI Mavic Platinum, uh, DJI Inspire, DJI Inspire 2, um, all basically the same as far as how it works within the DJI Go 4 app that you use, that's your interface to see. Uh, your flight to monitor it live time but um, this is going to be more specifically targeted towards the DJI Spark and again there's going to be a lot of similarities with them other DJI drones but this is just going to be basic setup and take off like everything to um, successfully prepare for, a, prepare for a flight and how you uh, calibrate the drone, how you store the home point, how you get everything ready, all those check boxes checked to make sure that you are ready to uh, success to have a successful flight uh, with no problems, all before and at takeoff when you're going to fly your DJI Spark. So first things first, you want to uh, get your DJI Spark remote controller. And guys, keep in mind that you can fly the DJI Spark from your smartphone, but I would highly recommend getting the actual physical controller because it's a whole lot better. And it's a whole lot um, better experience. Uh, flying your drone. It's a lot more simple and it just feels a whole lot more natural and uh, just trust me guys You want to get the controller and not depend on your smartphone smartphone to fly the spark So anyways, you want to dock your smartphone whether it's an iPhone or Android but Anyway, so we have the remote controller We have our phone dock and to turn on the remote controller What you do is you have a power button up in the upper right corner You're going to short press then long press till you hear it beep. You heard it beep there. So now our controller is on so then what you're going to want to do, you're going to want to launch the DJI Go4 app, and then it'll be time to actually power on the Spark. To power on the Spark, what you're going to want to do is, is on the back of it where your battery is inserted, you'll see this button. Same thing as the controller. You want to short press then long press until you hear it, until short press then long press, wait a little bit, and then you will hear, you'll hear this tone. So now, our spark and our remote controller are both turned on okay guys so now as you can see in my screenshot here on the phone um, we have a feed from our drone and a couple of things you're going to want to do before you take off is you're going to want to first of all go ahead and calibrate the drone so you see up there at the top where it says ready to go GPS we're good now when it's green tap on that and then right there, in, you'll see compass about in the middle of the screen to the left, you'll see calibrate. We're going to click on that. Then we're going to hit start. And it shows our instructions here of how to calibrate the compass. So you're going to pick up the drone and you're going to do a full circle around it until the icon switches. Then you're going to turn it on its side and do a full circle around it. And then, now as you can see, it says that our compass is successfully calibrated. Now the only other thing that we need to do is up in the upper right corner where you see the three dots, click on that. Then you're gonna to wanna to click on the drone icon at the very top. And then right there where it says home point settings, you're gonna to wanna to hit the icon on the left to mark your home point. As you can see, it says current aircraft position will be set as the home point. So basically what that does is that if something happens and you lose signal or you lose sight of the drone and you panic, you can either hit the return to home button up here on the controller, or you can hit it here on the, our interface to where it's grayed out right now because the drone hasn't taken off. But over there on the left, you see three white icons. It's the one in the middle. That will return the drone home to that home point that we just stored if you were to panic or something were to happen. So now that we have our drone calibrated and we have our home point set, we are ready to take off. And to take off, you just push the upper left white icon that has the arrow pointing up. And you can see here it says ensure the conditions are safe for takeoff. The aircraft will climb to an altitude of four foot and hover in place. So then we're going to swipe over to the right and you'll notice that our drone is taking off and it's getting up to four feet like it said it would. Now the beeping you hear, this drone has obstacle avoidance. So in other words, it has signals that are shooting forward and when it gets close to something it's going to halt and it's going to stop you can turn that off but um, i would not recommend that especially if you're a novice and you're just getting into starting to fly this drone and more than likely it's why you're watching this video to watch these basic um, pre-flight and takeoff procedures so anyways so 
that's about all that we're going to get into with this video. I just wanted to give you guys detailed instructions of how to uh, successfully um, calibrate your compass, mark your home point, and launch the drone. Guys, if you enjoyed this video, please be sure to smash that thumbs up button. And also, please be sure to subscribe to my channel as I'm going to have so much more DJI Spark videos upcoming in the future. Guys, this is Dylan. Have a good one.